Hey y'all, this is Brett, aka Chi, and it is the morning time here, and Chakra and I just took a little walk barefooted in cold, cold grass outside. It's, it's totally sweet, and um, I'm just about getting ready to make my last product for a week. I'm taking a little shorty vacation, and um, I was thinking to myself, I should make a video about why people have so many various infections. And there's so many different reasons from not getting enough nutrition. And there's so many different reasons why people don't get enough nutrition, whether it be from de depleted soil or from not just not eating enough vegetables and fruits yes but vegetables have the majority of your nutrients or good quality meats you know if you're eating chicken that's not getting out in the grass and eating bugs and grass and weeds and stuff and that chicken's going to be nutritionally deficient and additionally People have a lot of bacterial infections because they're consuming a lot of things that just aren't food at all, like smog and all the chemicals that smog consists of, and, and chlorine, all these things that deplete, that degrade their body's ability to fight off infection. There's so many chemicals in the world that we live in and they just keep spraying the, the aluminum crap into the air for the, the uh, chemtrails and it goes on and on and on and on and on and it all coincides, every bit of it coincides with the attitude of the people. On a, as a whole and so do you have control to change your own life within the midst of it all absolutely but you have to be really really strong and you have to back your ass out of it one step at a time so if you're part of that whole degradation degrading the act of degrading degradation if you're part of that degeneration same thing then you have to regenerate regrade <laughs> Re regradation <laughs> you have to regenerate yourself by taking each thing one step at a time and all these videos that I'm teaching about getting good feelings about each thing and having faith not to know that you're going in the right direction you're not going retrograde backward you're continually moving forward yes sometimes you'll go backwards a little bit but then you, you go well, okay and you figure out what you were doing wrong and then you continue to move forward getting clean air cleaner air cleaner food and cleaner water and cleaner thoughts and a cleaner lifestyle and a cleaner occupation doing something that's more and more valuable all the time I think that you know people decide on one thing they're gonna do that wouldn't work for me <laughs> no it still is not working to think like that for me or even one place you know because this place isn't perfect far from it and the longer you live in a place or with a person or whatever the more you learn 
about the imperfections and you start to think to yourself, well, maybe I could do better. Yeah. Well, I went into Asheville a couple weeks ago and I said to myself, oh my God, I am so glad I don't live here anymore. Seriously. This is so much better and I won't ever go back to anything less than no chlorine water or fluoride, like well water. I insist now, just like at one time, I insisted that I would never have carpet in my house again. And I stuck with that. And, um, and now, no more roads. I'm not going to live where I can hear cars outside my house anymore. And I'm not going to live where there's city water ever again. Or smog. People all over the place. I'm not ever going to do that again. And so I just keep moving up, you see. And so I knew that when I came here, that my body's immune system was going to kick in. It's going to throw it into overdrive. And that I would have to go through some hell during that process. And I am. I am. And I don't know how long it will last, but I think the brunt of it is over. But I still keep going through some tough cycles. And so no, it's never free. Never. And so, my job is to teach you what I've learned, what I've analyzed with my Virgo mind, <laughs> and my cancer heart. And, um, <sighs> I'm teaching an Ashiatsu student this weekend, and you never know, I might make a video. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I am going to enjoy some days off and then midweek next week I'm back on it hopefully I'm gonna make a video about that that whole the, the job and feeling overwhelmed by your work soon cuz I've been feeling that <laughs> no doubt <laughs> and needing a break so um in any case, we'll make a video on that soon. This is Brett, a.k.a. Chi. <laughs> Be well.